Picture this, a futuristic Lagos with incredible technological advancements. Technological advancements you've only seen in like American films or these great spy films, but in like a Lagos version of it. Like people dealing with Lagos traffic by using flying cars or street walkers using drones to sell their goods. That is what this show offers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about Iwaju. Iwaju is a Disney series that is set in a futuristic Lagos and it follows the story of a young girl that wants to go to the Lagos mainland. This story was a very, very interesting, endearing, and charming story. First of all, the main character is a 10 year old girl that just wants to have fun. I'm sure we've seen that dynamic before, but the fact that this was set in Nigeria and follows the story of a Nigerian girl with other Nigerian characters was something that immediately drew me to this show. I never ever thought I was going to see something like this from Disney. And man, it was so good. Speaking of the 10-year-old character, she was a very, very endearing, very charming, very sweet little girl that you just love going on this adventure with her. And she just makes you get into the story so easily because of how charming she is. And her performance, the actor that played her, played the girl so, so well. And not just the girl, the other characters in this show are also very, very interesting characters. They are Nigerian characters and they feel like Nigerian characters. That was something that made me get into this show so, so easily. I love that I could see these characters and I could relate to them. I mean, it's something I never thought I would see, but I saw it and it was so fun. And the way these characters talk, they talk like Nigerians. They have expressions and mannerisms of Nigerians. And it was something that made me just appreciate this show so much. The attention to detail in it was incredible. And the actors that play these characters also just added so much to their characters. Actors like Iretiola Dale, Femi Branch, Biso Ayola, Ken De Bankole, and some other actors that I can't remember. And because they are Nigerian actors, just something that just added to the overall greatness of this series. Another thing I liked about this show was the use of Yoruba and Pidgin English. I mean, imagine watching a Disney show or a Disney movie where they are speaking Yoruba or they are speaking Pidgin English. Wow, that was so amazing to me. And the way they used the Yoruba and the English added so much depth and realism to the story and to the characters. And the characters, like I said already, they are very interesting characters that feel like Nigerians wow i love this show so much and the way this show captures the essence of lagos in a very futuristic way was something i loved that i never thought i was going to see i mean imagine street vendors selling their products with drones flying in the air i mean that was genius it just made me love it that it captured the essence of lagos ah oh, man they did it so well and it did not feel fake it felt very real like if you watch it or if you've already seen it you will know that it feels like in Lagos. You know that it feels like Lagos that you are. There's a lot of things that they use in this show that just makes you feel like, wow, I can't believe Disney did something like this. And the story was a very interesting story. Funny sometimes and intense sometimes. And every time it worked, I enjoyed the story so much. And the animation was so beautiful. It was so pleasing to the eye. Like it was so easy on the eye. And the attention to detail of the animation was another thing that just elevated it to a much greater level man everything honestly everything worked with this show and this show is very bingeable it has just six episodes 25 minutes per episode like when the first episode finished i was like oh is it done already i want to keep seeing more of this and you just binge it and you just watch it so fast like that's how fast i watch this show man i loved it so much oh i almost forgot Femi Branch plays the villain in this film and his performance was charming and menacing. The way he plays the character, he plays it so well. And honestly, I feel like apart from the main character, Femi Branch was the standout in this show. Ah, man, I can't overemphasize how much I love this show. It is a show that is short and sweet. So have you seen Iwaju? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. And if you've not seen Iwaju, my guy, go and check it out. You will love it. If it's your first time on my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.